Hey guys, Andrew Edwards here, and in this edition of Bleeding Edge TV, we're going to talk to Matt Rogers of Nest. Nest is a company that makes a brand new learning thermostat that might sound boring at first glance when you first hear it, but it's actually really, really cool. It's actually a thermostat uh, that was made by the people who uh, designed the iPod and iPhone, so if that intrigues you, stay tuned. Andrew Edwards back here at CES 2012. Matt, you are the co-founder of Nest. And uh, I'm excited to talk to you because I've been excited about this product ever since I first heard of it. And I haven't been able to find it in any stores because it's sold out everywhere. So um, if you don't know what Nest is, we're going to about to tell you. What is Nest? So Nest is the first learning thermostat. So it's the first thermostat you don't have to program. Uh, it has an activity sensor that turns down when you're not home. It learns from you, so as you, you know, turn the dial up and down, it learns what you like and, and does it back for you so you don't have to program it. It's also a beautiful product, so it replaces that ugly white plastic box on the wall with something that actually looks good. Right. And so this is, a, this is a category that most people, like, they buy a home and they just forget about it. Exactly. And you don't think about, oh, I need a new fully featured thermostat. You just accept what you have. That's right. And so how did you guys come about just, like, you just walk by your thermostat one day and say, huh, I think we can do better than that. So as it turns out, uh, the thermostat's responsible for about half of home energy. So it's a phenomenal amount of money that people spend on this. You know, on average, $1,100 a year in the US. So it's a really big number, and no one's built a great product yet. So you know, Tony and I saw this, and we, we had to go build this product. Okay. And tell us your background for a minute, because it's very interesting. Um, I don't know which one or both came from Apple and designed the iPad, iPod. So both Tony and I came from Apple. Uh, Tony was my boss back at Apple. We were you know, the original iPod team. So we did. 13 generations of iPod, a few generations of iPhone, left to go to build Nest. Right. So if you're curious as to what the people that made the iPod and the iPhone would do with a thermostat, this is it right here. It's called Nest. Tell us about it. So the yeah, idea is really simple. So use it like you use a normal thermostat. Just turn it up and turn it down. And you know, pick a temperature that you think is comfortable. Look for a feature like the leaf. So the leaf tells you when you pick the temperature that's of conservation, that'll help you save money. Okay. We also have other great features like looking at your energy history. So how is Nest performing at your home? And uh, are you saving or are you spending more? So here, you know, I'm down two hours because I, I adjusted it. I did a good job. The day before, it was up five hours because of the weather. It was, it was rough weather. Okay. And the idea is let's give users feedback on how the, you know, the device is performing in their home. Right. And so what's interesting is that most people, when they interact with their thermometer, they're turning it up or down, and you've optimized this for turning up and down. Exactly. Where no other thermo thermostat does that. That's right. At the most basic level, we want it to be easy. So turn it up and turn it down, and that's it. I mean, don't worry about it. Don't program it. Don't use all these complicated features. Just live your life. Right. And now there's also some other features in it. There's a motion sensor in there. Tell us about that. So the motion sensor is used for auto away. So this feature auto away, what it does is it sees when you're not home after a few hours, it turns it down. So if you forget to turn it down, you don't have to worry about it. And you know, if, you want, if you're coming home, we have an iPhone app. So turn it back up, come home to a warm house. Okay. And so speaking of the iPhone app, it's, it's connected to your Wi-Fi network, I assume? That's right. So connect to your Wi-Fi network and you're good to go. So you can use your iPhone, iPad, iPod Touch, or Android app, or Android phone. And then it also works with, is it Z-Wave or Zigbee? So we have Zigbee, but it's currently turned off. You know, the, the ecosystem you know, in terms of Zigbee is, is, is just getting started. So okay. we're looking in the future of what we can do with Zigbee. So is that like a software update to enable? So if you've purchased one already and in the future you introduce that, you can you just push software updates to these That's things? That's right. So we've actually already done four software updates since we've launched the product. How do you do, how do, you do that? So it's automatic. So you wake up one morning and you have a new version. Just like a TiVo. Okay. Okay. So it's just all over Wi-Fi. When there's a new version, you just push it out to all the nests out there, and you're done. Exactly. Like just like a TiVo. Like you shouldn't have to worry about software updates, right? right. It's an intelligent product. It should know when it needs to get a software update. Well, that's very cool. Where can people find these right now? I mean, or can they? So we're totally sold out, but we have a waitlist on Nest.com. Uh, we're working through that waitlist as fast as we can. Uh, limited Best Buy stores, Chicago, San Carlos, California, and Houston, Texas, uh, and through basically your local HVAC distribution. Okay. But other than that, I mean, so Nest.com is probably the best way to get on a waitlist, get a product. You can order up to five. That's right. Order up to five on Nest.com as soon as they're available. Right, get, get five, put four of them on eBay if you have to, because you make your money back, because these things are flying off the shelves. Um, dude, Matt, thank you so much for uh, showing us the thank product. You. It's really awesome and a great job, man. Thank this you. is great. We'll have more from CES 2012 right after this.